Hello. In this exciting math video, we are going to interpret percent as decimals. Remember, percent can be thought of as percent, as ratios, as fractions, and as decimals. We're going to use them as decimals this time, and we are going to use those decimals to answer questions. So, first thing, remember, percent means out of 100. So, 35% is 35 out of 100. 62% is 62 out of 100. 9% is 9 out of 100. Okay? But also remember that the second place after the decimal point is the hundredths place. There's the decimal point, there's the tenths place, there's the hundredths place. So 35 over 100 is equal to 0 0.35. 62 over 100 is equal to 0 0.62 because the 2 is in the hundredths place. 9 over 100 is equal to 0 0.09. Notice how it is not 0.9, because that would be the tenths place. So that is wrong. Don't ever do that. What is correct is to put the 9 in the hundredths place. The 0 there is in the tenths place, and it's needed as a placeholder. Which means it should be very easy to write percent as a decimal. Since 35% is 35 over 100, that makes it 0 0.35, with the 5 in the hundredths place. 62% is 62 over 100 is 0 0.62, with the 2 in the hundredths place. 9% is 9 out of 100 is 0 0.09, with the 9 in the hundredths place. Notice again, that 0 in the tenths place. All right, let's write these percents as decimals. 70% would be 0 0.70, 70 in the hundredths place. However, that should be simplified to 0 0.7. After all, this 0 is only saying there's nothing there, so why not simplify it and just put nothing there? 43 is 0 0.43. The 3 is in the hundredths place. That's not a trailing zero. It says there are three there. Let's not drop it. 7%. Is that 0 0.7? No, because remember, 0 0.7 is 70%. That's wrong. So we need to write it, rather, as 0 0.07. Remember, the 7 is a hundredths place. The 0 there is in the tenths place. So here's a decimal point, blank, blank. We'll put the 7 in the hundredths place, and we need a 0 as a placeholder. Okay? Now, let's use these, this idea, as decimals to find answers. First thing we're going to do is change each of these percents to a decimal. So that's 0.45. I could put the 0 in front or not. It doesn't make any difference. That's 0.18, and that's 0 0.04. Remember has to be in the hundredths place. So then, to find the answer, I have to multiply 0.45 times 80, 0.18 times 150, 0 0.04 times 75. And remember, it doesn't matter which one you put on top, and when you multiply, you don't have to worry about the decimals until you're done. So I'm going to do 45 times 80. 0 is just 0. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 4 is 32, plus the carried 4 is 36. But remember, there are two decimal places, so I'll put two decimal places in my answer, and the answer ends up being 36. Now I'll do 150 times 18, oops, times 18. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 5 is 40. I'll put the 0 and carry the 4. 8 times 1 is, is 8, plus 4 makes 12. Now I have to multiply by the 1, so I put the placeholder 0 because it's in the tens place. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1, and let's add those up. 0, 0, 7, 2. But remember, there's two decimal places. So I'll put two decimal places in the answer, and the answer is 27. Okay, now I have to do four, 75 times 4. Remember, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. I like to put the one with more digits at the top. 
4 times 5 is 20. Put the 0, carry the 2. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 makes 30. But remember, there are two decimal places, 0 0.04. So I put two decimal places in the answer, and in the end, the answer is 3. Okay? That's how easy. You change it to a decimal, and then you multiply. And remember to put your decimal points in at the correct places. Write the answer off to the side with a circle. Any questions, ask your teacher.